You know, imagine we throw some awesome color in this and just, it's all over, right? So, let me share this. When I took this class, this hands-on class, he clarified haircutting for me. Here it is. So when we, when we cut hair, we pull it out into space and cut it, right? Mm -hmm. That's only half the equation, right? What's the other half? Where we're pulling it to is half. What's the other half? Where it's falling. Where, that's, that's, that's after the fact. What do you have to think of before? Where, you're pulling it into space. Where is it coming from? Okay? Those two things make up exactly where it's going to fall and how it's going to look. You see what I'm saying? So watch this. Write this down. One, two, three. Head, mark this off as head shape. I'm going to clarify some things right now. A light bulb's going to go on. Number one, flat. Number two, roll. Number three, round. This is very important and when you, as you get closer to the head, the head shape is so important because it shows. Have you ever noticed when you're cutting guys that any mistake you make shows on their head shape? You can make their head look funny, weird, flat, round, like a bulb, you know what I'm saying? So, because it's, when you release it, it's right there. There's no length to hide it. So as you're working with these very cool short haircuts, you have to be so aware of the head shape. So flat, this is called the flat plane. The flat plane is in here and here like this. So if you're looking at the side, that's, there it is. That's the flat plane. Draw it for yourself, please. Flat plane. Right? If you look at me, you can see because my head's so short. Here's, the, here's my flat plane. Look, if the comb stays on it, it's flat, see? Wherever the comb and the head are simultaneous. Look, see my flat? See my flat? See where the comb and the head join? That's flat. Now, when you're doing these heavy, precision, graduated cuts, it's so important that you realize that the flat plane is cut flat, meaning no elevation. Cut flat, no elevation. This will all make sense in a second. Next, we get to the roll plane. So look at my look at my head. See where the see where the comb is leaving the head. See it right here. What's happening is is the comb is not leaving, the comb's not leaving the head, the head's leaving the comb, you get it? Mm -hmm. So right there, roll, is where the head starts to turn. Write that down. So think roll, you're starting to move. Roll is turn. The head is starting to turn now. And then round is up on the top that turns in every direction, okay? Okay, so the roll is a slow turn, I mean a fast turn, fast. The occipital bone, the temples, they turn fast. The round is a slow turn, the top of the head, is, it, it turns slowly. Okay, so when we are cutting these precision cuts, we do not want to pick up in our fingers anything that's from the flat because that, even if you pick it up in one finger, it's still elevated and that will create unwanted graduation where you need support, where you need blunt, okay? So anytime hair is taken from the flat plane, you're cutting it flat on the skin. This will all come into play on this cut that you're about to do. When you want to, when the head, when you come out of the flat plane into the roll plane, the roll, that's where you start your elevation. So put that in. Because we're going to start our elevation because we want to create what's called graduation. Another way to, to say graduation is layering. Usually though, when somebody uses the word graduation, it means not a lot of layering. 
Okay, so that's how hair cutters talk. Mm -hmm. If I say, let's layer the head, then you're going to layer everything. If you're going to graduate it, that means you're going to keep it heavy, but it's still going to be have a layer to it. Okay, so, and then this top one, roll, you have to be really aware of this because that goes around the head 360 degrees. That's round, right? Round. I'm sorry, round. The round, up here, round, is 360. In other words, you have to watch where you're pulling that to and from because it goes on all sides of the head. You understand? So you have to attack that a little differently. You have to part it off and look at its growth direction and decide which, which direction you're going to part that and move it into. You guys follow me? Okay. Now, have you ever done a haircut and then it's done and then it really, you parted it wrong and then it wants to go in the other direction, and, but you cut it off already and now, okay? So you, you, you look at it that way first before you tie it in. All right, so now we're gonna go one, two, three, four. There's gonna be four techniques for this. The first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the flat plane back here. I'm gonna tack it like this. I'm going to over direct everything down in down into the hair because I want to maintain the length in the corners. It's going to be pushed onto the skin and it's going to be cut with a razor on the skin. <clears throat> Not in my fingers, on the skin. Why? Because it's flat and the flat gets cut flat. This is so important. <clears throat> Is that your part that you like right there? That's the way you like to part your hair? <laughs> What's your name? Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Oh, um, hmm. So you guys, you guys all have precision scissors, right? Can you give me my shirt there? My straight? <laughs> When you're a hair cutter, you want a lot of, you want tools, tools. You can't do everything with one scissor. It's like, a, it's like an artist actually having only one brush. It doesn't make sense, okay? So the curves are what you're getting today. These are for the movement in the freestyle. The precision shears, okay? And now the razor. So, here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to cut. We're going to part in the center. We're going to part out the flat. Look, how do I find the flat? I put the comb right on the head. Oh, there it is. Look. See? This comb will act as a guide for you in the beginning. Anybody have a clip or two clips? Okay, so here we go. You need water, Rick? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut this line this line right past her hairline. She's got a very uh, nasty calic hair, so we don't want to expose that. We want to that, that will dictate our length. Is are you cool with that? Mm -hmm. so we're going to take it down, we're going to press it in. You have a razor on you? You mean a new one? Yeah, a new razor. Of course, I replaced my new here. No, 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 use my razor. Put a new one in this morning. 
Here's my guy. What'd you guys think of that? <laughs> Pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. It's not that hard, you guys. It's not like Tony was saying. You want to simplify the hair cutting. That flat plane always has kind of like a V shape and an inverted V shape. Yes, because I want to hold on to these corners. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. If I swing it up like this and I lose the corners, then I have nothing to lead into the sides here. Well, so not you, uh, I mean in the back, in the center. Yes, I always, I always tend, I tend to, either go straight or I. I like where you're parting it. Yes. Okay. Here, right? No, no the top part. Here. Is that, yes. What are you asking? It always has a shape like that. Like yes. It's not a V. It's, it's not a V. It's like a, a soft horseshoe. Oh, it's not okay. soft. Okay. Yeah. You don't want it. It's not. It doesn't have a point. It's rounded at the top. It goes with the shape of the head. The reason that we part it this way is because that's the way that the head turns turns itself. Okay? So we go with the turn of the head. Oh, sorry. If I was to take this and part it straight across, do you see how funky that would be? Okay? The head shape, the head is curved like this, so you, that's what you're doing. All right. So the first one was cut on the skin with the razor. Now the second one is going to go, we're going back to the curves. And <clears throat> this is hard, but you, if, you get, if you get around to this, great. If you don't, no problem. You guys see this angle right here? Yeah. We want to continue that angle, but we want to cut it choppy. We want to cut it out of our, out of our hands. So we're going to hold it out like this, and we're going to cut it down. See how cool that is? Over direct it back in. You're pulling it straight back? Back in and to the center. Then this comes down, and then I cut this broken this way. Why? No elevation. No elevation. Why no elevation? Why do I want to keep the weight? I want to keep the corner, but also, what, what's the head telling me to do? Is that flat right there? Yeah. What do I do when it's flat? Cut it flat. I cut it flat. Yeah. See that? That's not flat, right? Mm -hmm. So in here, I elevate. Less, none. Follow me? Mm -hmm. okay. Contouring to the head. You know what's telling me to elevate this? The curve of her head. Mm -hmm. So every single person that you cut with this technique, you're cutting exactly perfectly elevated for okay. their head. Their head. <laughs> Everyone in here has a different head shape. Their head. So it's totally customizing for their head. Not a head, their head. Okay? Have you guys ever worked on somebody that's really flat back here and they have no occipital bone? Yes. And you don't want to show that, do you? You have, to, you have to basically create one, don't you? Okay? And that comes from the awareness of the head shape. Ricardo, use this. Like surgery. <laughs> Don't want sanitize. <laughs> this is pretty cool, watch this. Now we're gonna point cut. Because I want to see more texture. So what we're doing in this haircut is it's going from heavier to lighter to lighter to totally light up on the top. 
So we're going to take we're going to take this, and we're going to cut we're going to point cut into it. Except the only thing is that the gravity takes it down, makes it very hard to cut into. So just I want to show you guys another thing. There's so many ways to hold the same angle in hair cutting. So that angle you could hold this way, but it's not really working because it's collapsing and I can't cut up into it. So you can just take that same angle and do this. Follow? Yeah. Okay. So, and just think, when, when you're thinking of angles, think of clocks. Don't think of 45s. I never think of 45s or 90s. I never think of certain degrees. I think of the hands of a clock. So I'm going to elevate off the head shape. There's the elevation. This is called parametric elevation. That's a whole other class that I could teach you that you would love and need to learn. This is precision haircutting. See that? When the comb comes off the head on all these angles, that's called parametrics. That's what John Delaire invented, and it's amazing. It will keep you on track. You will cut incredible hair. You'll have total control of all your haircuts. No more guessing. Which which sheer are these guys get to? These? these ones with the round ones on the ends or these ones? Those. These things are sweet. Yeah. This this shear that I'm using. <laughs> Is the same shear that you guys are getting today, except it's a little different. See, see the ends of it, how it has like a little, like kind of rounder. It's for what working around the skin. Okay. If you guys want to own these, call me. Which one they get these today? They get those. The double. Those are the, those double are the more all around. Yeah, these things yeah. are sweet. Um, these are specialty the when you're working on the skin. The double tangs, like that. Double tangs. All right, let's go this way now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be done very quickly. If you guys get to this haircut, great. If you don't, great. You want to keep progressing? Fine. I would rather have you go slow and perfect what you do than rush through. I'd rather have you do six techniques if, if it takes you, you know, if you can get through them all, great. But if, if you can't, I, would, I don't want you to rush through um, and you know, not comprehend step by step. You need a comb. Right there in the hair. <laughs> okay, so now I need to bring this line in and an A line, right, you guys? So this is a little something that Tony and I invented. This is called stair step cutting. And basically, what it means is. I've noticed and he noticed that whenever you take hair in your hands like this and try to cut this line in, it comes out like real soccer mom. You know what I mean by that? What's the matter, what's the matter with soccer moms? Soccer moms, moms are great. awesome. I'm just I saying. I dated a few. Me too. <laughs> didn't, didn't last long. Oh, you're good. What was that? No, that one's yours. This is the new one. They come out soccer moms, so we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of her shoulder, turn it up. Love soccer moms, but you know you don't want to look like one. You just want to be wait, one. Wait, wait, wait! I've seen some hot soccer moms. That's true. <laughs> I have too. Like I've even asked him, like at Trader Joe's, I go, "Are you, are you a, a soccer, soccer mom?" mom? <laughs> and she goes, "How can you tell? I can tell by the line right here." <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by your hair. The line right here. That's so fucked up. Show the line again. What line? What line? The hairline right here, you know? That's the soccer corner. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Like, I swear to God, you, we, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm doing a promotion at the salon. Soccer moms? Hell yeah. <laughs> the anti-soccer mom. Oh, the anti. Let me see that line. <laughs> well, we got that line, yeah. It's in your, it's pretty, it's in your mug. <laughs> it's a pretty good line. <laughs> Let's go the other way. You never can match that on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, it's in the hair. On they're on your shirt, they're on hair, they're <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> Stay with me. No, Mac, I'm like, I'm like looking in the mirror and I just try to get my fingers to even like, <laughs> like yeah, good, right? so at least you go like this how does that look to you and she says yes you're off the hook yeah, just, you don't try to match the hair you just get your fingers there like if, if it's off this much look if it's off this much you just go like this <laughs> He's the comic of your two, he's right? A, he's a moron. You're the, you're the serious one, and he's the funny one. I'm Dean Martin, and he's Jerry Lewis. No, that's basically. some funny stuff. Okay, so how's that coming out? Great. Would you guys like to cut hair like that? Yeah. You're going to learn it right now today, man. This shit is wrong. the beginning of the rest of your career, right here today. That looks pretty good. Just leave my <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're in Newport Beach, and he That's is exactly. in That's Burbank. I'm in Newport, and he's in Burbank. <laughs> I get as far away from him as possible. So you yeah. miss each other. Yeah. yeah. When we get together, I, I do. I out. do actually miss miss working with him. Yeah. So I really do. Sorry. I don't think he misses me. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do? We're gonna channel this with uh, with the razor. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, now we got a little more funk in it, right? Okay. What am I, why do I have to do this for a living? <laughs> do you guys like razor cutting? That's a whole nother class, right? It's faster. This is true freedom, razors. Have you started your ankle like going down towards the face, like different on everybody, or like the same section? Different on everybody, depending on where I want it to end up. Like what di what dictates all these decisions are, is them, their face, their hair, their features, their, you know, what they want to see, blah, blah, blah. And like get in the mindset of it. That's looking awfully sharp. Thank you. Let's go this way. Actually, let's go this way. So here's the scissor you guys have. So now. We're going to do a little bit of what Tony was doing, but we're going to do it in a in a much in a in a way that will blend with this this heavy corner. We don't want to lose these corners. 
Like these corners right here are golden. So we're just going to keep them. There's one side. Here's the other side. You can now, now that question back there comes into play. Which angle do you put the scissors on? So now I'm going to utilize, I'm going to turn the angle so that, look, the curve goes with the curve of the head. See it? Instead of this. So we'll come in here like this. And then I just want to, real quick, I want to cut this short. I just want to turn it. I want to create some movement in it. So did you, did you get this? Did you get this one, Rico? I think this one sort of got away from the camera. So. <laughs> so I asked I asked Annie Rose Taylor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Where's Annie Rose Taylor? Right here. Annie Rose yes. Taylor right asked here. her. I love Annie I Rose asked her, Taylor. I go, do you know where Toluca Lake is? Oh yeah, I didn't tell you. I'm, I'm looking to move there. <laughs> I know she is moving there. <laughs> she, know she, where, she doesn't even know where Toluca Lake yes, is. Yes, she does. I do. <laughs> and if she doesn't move there, I'm hoping she's moving there at Newport. I'll take her. <laughs> Annie Rose. Annie hey, Rose. Annie Rose. I want. <laughs> <I, laughs> Annie Rose. Annie Rose. <laughs> Annie Rose. Yes. Yeah. Let me take a look at that girl. Annie Rose. Let's hear. Who would you rather work for, Annie Rose? <laughs> Are you competing? Go right ahead. <laughs> drive, drive down there, Liv. You can just you, here. You can just ask these two. <laughs> you don't got. You don't got it. Okay, see that on top, you guys. Yeah. That's yeah. extra bulk that needs to go. How'd you find that chunk? You pull it up where the lens star. <laughs> yeah, you come down. Take the lens. Here it is. You pull it up. Let that all fall and then out. it will fall into your hands. Right Bango, there. there it is. We're going to just cut into that. It's going to soften everything, give us some, uh, some lift in here. You guys are pretty fortunate to have this guy in front of me, you know that. Because you should have seen some of the chumps they brought when I used to go to beauty school. <laughs> I'm like, dude, slide over because I can smoke you right now. <laughs> So I'm just uh, lightening up these edges. <clears throat> We're going around basically like a pinwheel, or like a, this is like a middle of a bicycle tire, and these are, sp all these partings are the spokes. And then just kind of cutting in and breaking it, which will give her, and especially for her hair, because she's got such coarse hair, that you want to do this to get a, a much softer sort of bend or feel. That's got to go. It's just another way of layering the hair. Yeah. Now imagine we throw some awesome color in this and just, it's all over, right? <laughs>